Wave Studio. Before we get started in today's video, I just want to let you guys know I created three types. So we got the three band emulator, we got the two band emulator, and we got the single band emulator. So if you're trying to get all three, make sure you donate, and I got the links below. So let's get started. What's up guys? This is IWS. Before we get started in today's video, I want to let you guys know I just updated Circle Band EQ again. And uh, it's a multi-band compressor. So I'm going to show you what it does real quick. So yeah, Circle Band EQ is a multiband compressor. Uh, this also includes uh, frequency sliders, uh, mute buttons, clippers, uh, input output, and a bypass knob. I also updated the multiband noise reduction to version 6. And no further ado, this is what it sounds like when it's off. Yeah, I have a lot of background noises. And this is what it sounds like when it's on. Yeah, I have a lot of background noises. So yeah, if you like to rap, sing, or just mess around with vocals, go ahead and check this out, man. I got the links below. So yeah, I just created a Fab Filter Multiband Compressor Emulator. And Fab Filter Multiband is a dynamic multiband compressor that can go up to five bands. But in this video, I just did three bands. So we just got the low, the mid, and the high. And for this emulator, I use frequency splitter to split up the frequencies. Then I put the parametric EQ in each band, which is three. So this right here is the low band, the mid band, the high band, just like the fab filter. Uh, so you got the low band, the mid band, and the high band. And so when I click on it, so we got the range. So the range is the, is the side chain. So you can go up, you can go down. Then we got the attack. The attack is like a tension. And the release knob is like the smoothness uh, speed for the range. And then you got the output and the output is just the gain volume for the for this band so i can boost it up i can go up i can go down so that's the basic knowledge of the fab filter but yeah the parametric mb compressor is a fab filter multi-band emulator um as you can see we got the listen settings so so you can listen to each frequency band and so zero is at default one go to one, two go to two, and three go to three. And the power button is just the bypass signal. So you can have it on or have it off. And the low is a mute, the mid is a mute, and the high is a mute. So you can also mute the bands as well. Over here at the side chain compression, we got the output, which is the DB for the peaking. As you can see, you can go up, you can go down, just like so, in the range of the side chain. So you can go up and down with it. This is what it looks like. You can bust out the output a little bit.
in the attack is just the the side chain tension and the release is the speed of the side chain so this is what it looks like that's the attack this right here is the release I'm gonna just boost up the output real quick, just a little bit. I'm gonna have the range right there. And the Hersh is the frequency slider, and this is what it does. I'm gonna boost it up a little bit. And the balance level is a level for that EQ. So you can go up and down, you can boost it, you can lower it down a little bit. And this is what it looks like. You can go up, you can go down. So basically if you have this on the master track, you, if you feel like the low frequencies of that band itself is too low, you can, you can boost it up. Same thing for the mid and the same thing for the high. So the high only attacks the high frequencies, the mid only attacks the mid frequencies, and the low only attacks the low frequencies. And this is what it sounds like when you mute the, the low band frequency. And this right here is the compressor settings. And the compressor is just the one uh, compression, so it has the it has the threshold, the knee, uh, attack, release, and the ratio. So all you got to do is just all one up. Uh, then you got the makeup volume for the compressor, and that's what it sounds like. And by the way, if you're trying to get precise mixing, just select one of these bands. Let's say I want to go to number one, and this is what it sounds like. If you feel like it's too low, feel free to boost it up a little bit. And once you feel like you got the right mix, all you gotta do, right click, reset, take this off, and you're good. So as you can see, just imagine three parametric two EQs inside of frequency splitter. That's how dynamic this is. So just keep that in mind. So the region of the low frequencies are contained in here, and the region for the mid frequencies is contained in here for the mid, and the region in the region for the high frequencies is is contained in the high band so so when i play this kick you can see each frequency band is getting breaking down so now let's get started
So yeah, if you like today's video, feel free to send a donation. I got the links below. Go ahead and download it, have fun with it, share it, all that good shit. Subscribe, like, comment. You know what it is.